The Bernina 790 Pro has 25 built-in alphabets. Now, I don't know about you, but a lot of people are always asking me how many alphabets are on this machine. And some people buy embroidery machines based on how many embroidery alphabets are built in. And yes, you can buy more, but it, boy, is it convenient to have them all right at your fingertips. Hi, I'm Sarah from SewingMastery.com, and we're doing highlight videos on the Bernina 790 Pro of all the new things, and we're putting them in a YouTube playlist along with the 100 plus videos we've already done on the Bernina 790 Plus. So many things are similar, so we're just kind of adding these videos to that playlist, and between both sets, you will master this machine inside and out. We also have some online courses for you to check out, and those links are in the description below. What I'm gonna do is give you a quick way to put all the alphabets that are built into this machine on the screen and stitch them out for a sampler. So one of the things I've done sometimes when I've stitched out other fonts is I really just need a reference of how they look. And I don't even take time to put them on fabric so much. So what I do is I actually take and hoop up two layers of cutaway stabilizer, knowing that I want a piece big enough that I can just put three hole punches into the finished sample and I can just put them in a three ring notebook and then be able to flip through and go, oh yeah, that's the look that I'm after and know exactly which alphabet to pick before I even get started. So here's how I would suggest going through, getting started with all 25 alphabets and stitching out a quick embroidery alphabet sampler. Sometime while you're watching this video, make sure you go underneath and click the like button. And if you haven't already subscribed to our YouTube channel, please do that too. That's your way of saying thank you for these free video tutorials. Okay, start by touching the alphabets and you're gonna notice there's three pages of alphabets. Some of them are your normal horizontal, but look, some of them are also set up to be vertical. So you have lots to choose from. And so here's what I would do. One thing to do is maybe pick a couple and that you do both as uppercase and with some options with lowercase. So you could do A, B, C in capital and then D, E, F in lowercase. You could spell out all the names of your grandkids, for example. Now, as the first one comes up, why don't you hop on over to the hoop options and pick the largest hoop you have. The largest one that comes with this machine is the oval hoop, but if you happen to have, say, the maxi hoop, which is a little bit bigger, you'll notice you can get lots all the way down this page. Keep in mind that if you are putting them in the notebook, that you might want to keep them within a range of space that would fit in a normal three hole punched page, that eight and a half by 11. So I might start by pushing that up towards the top. If you do these in order, it'll be really easy to say, know which one is which. To get another alphabet style on screen, touch the plus, choose the next alphabet. Let's do the same thing, capital A, B, C, and lowercase D, E, F, and do the green check mark. It pops up on screen and then just take and touch. You can move these with just your finger. You can move them with the stylus and then touch plus to choose the next alphabet. Maybe this time you do G, H, J and some K, L, M for lowercase. I mean, you do you, you can really have some fun. See how different these styles are gonna look? And trust me, not just bringing them up on screen and looking at them, but by taking the time to just set this as one monochrome, one color design stitch out, kind of fun, you'll have these stitched out in no time. And really understand what each of these are looking like. So maybe we do dog and then lowercase cat. You have fun with this, okay? Love to see your pictures of what you actually choose uh, to do. Along the side, you can do some of those vertical ones. Let's pick one of those just for fun. Just so you can see, you will have each of these. Let's just do A, B, C, and it'll come in vertical, and you can push it off to the, to the side. Now, I kind of touched in something else selected, so remember each of these page kind of layers is each of the designs. So as you pick one, highlight it, then it's the one that you're actually 
then moving. Let's say you get all of them on screen. Maybe you need them a little bit smaller. Maybe you want them a little bit bigger. You can always come down to the very first layer and you'll know you're there because they all highlight the super dark color. And now anything that you do, say moving them, so if you want to move them all to the side or all the way up into the upper part of the hoop, they're going as a group. And that's kind of fun to kind of push things together and maybe make more fit on one single hooping. You can also touch the eye for information, come in and even size the whole group. So if you think, oh, you know what? I wouldn't mind getting a few extras. Once you get them all on screen, do it as a group, do all the size change at once. Notice they kind of do it together or maybe you go the opposite way. Maybe you realize, I kind of want to fill the, that hoop up and you can do that as well. So make sure you take time, stitch out every single alphabet. Trust me, this is going to be so worth your time. You only have to do it once and you'll have a sample that you can reference for years to come. You might even find you love this so much that you also go in and stitch out some of the built-in designs that are in this machine because those two will look 10 times better than what you see in your manual or what you see on the screen. All the quilting designs, that would be another little kind of fun sampler that you could do. Take some fabric with some batting and stitch all the quilting designs out as well. And you will be learning this machine inside and out in no time at all. So with that, I hope you'll check out the links that we have for the complete playlist for the Bernina 790 Pro. There's over 100 videos that you can rewatch as many times as you need and come back multiple times to master this machine. Our online courses like this one, our Embroidery Essentials online course is a great one. The Pinpoint Placement course is the one that's behind the Bernina right now, helping you master the Pinpoint Placement function. I hope to see you in one of our classes soon. When you're ready to delete everything off your screen, the easiest way to do it is to touch the folder and then touch the folder with the arrow pointing up that kind of takes you out of everything that you were doing and you can come back one level and come back to where you started. A little easier than turning off the machine and turning it back on again.